IFTTT and Kumo Cloud. Integrated Controls for Rebate Initiatives. This video demonstrates how to use integrated controls to take advantage of rebate programs and business incentives promoting energy-efficient products and equipment. We'll create applets using IFTTT, Kumo Cloud, and a smart thermostat to adjust primary and secondary heating sources based on the outdoor temperature. For the best level of efficiency, check with your utility provider for temperature guidance before creating applets for activating auxiliary heat. To ensure your smart thermostat is compatible with IFTTT, search for your thermostat brand and then select services. If your thermostat is not supported by IFTTT, you will be unable to participate in the program. In order to turn on and off one zone coupled with a third-party thermostat, you will need a minimum of four applets. For each zone turning off, a corresponding thermostat would need to turn on. Just the same when a thermostat turns off, a corresponding zone would then turn back on. Applets tie together an action and a trigger. In this case an outdoor temperature action with an indoor thermostat trigger. To begin, you will need to create an IFTTT account at www.ifttt.com. Click sign up and follow the prompts. The process is quick and easy. And, it's free. To create the applet, click the account icon and select create from the drop-down list. This applet will tie together the weather conditions and integrated controls. Click the plus symbol to begin. Search for a weather service. For this video, weather underground is selected. Select the trigger current temperature drops below. Enter a temperature. Select the location field and either confirm or enter your address. Scroll down and click Create Trigger. With the trigger created, the next step is to add the Kumo Cloud action. In the search field, enter Kumo Cloud. And click to select it. Choose the Turn Off action. When the desired outdoor temperature is reached, Kumo Cloud will now turn off the selected zone or zones. At this point, you may be prompted to log in to your Kumo Cloud account. Follow the prompts and then continue with the action. Select the zone or zones that are connected to backup heat. In this example, all zones are selected by default. Click Create Action. The trigger and action are displayed for confirmation. A notification will be sent every time the applet runs. Toggle to turn off this function. Click Finish. Applet 1 is now complete and connected. Let's continue. To begin creating the next applet, select the menu and click Create. Repeat the process of selecting a weather service trigger. As we did before, search for and select Weather Underground. Again, we want to use the current temperature drops below trigger. Enter the same temperature that was used for applet 1, 34 degrees. Specify the address if it does not automatically appear. Click Create Trigger. Now, create the action for the third-party thermostat. Search for thermostat that's connected to your backup heat. Select the Set Thermostat Indefinite Hold, or a similar action for your thermostat. Confirm the thermostat name and then select a desired temperature. For this action, select 71 degrees. And click Create Action. The trigger and action are displayed for confirmation. Click Finish. Applet 2 is now complete and connected. Let's continue. Now that we've established an applet for outside temperature below 34 degrees, we'll create one for temperature above 35 degrees. Once again, select the menu icon and click Create. As before, we'll use Weather Underground as the trigger.
This time, the trigger occurs when the current temperature rises above 35 degrees. Scroll down and click Create Trigger. Now let's add the action. Again, we'll need to locate our thermostat. Confirm the thermostat, name and then select the desired temperature from the drop-down list. Click Create Action and then finish the applet. For the last applet, we will create a trigger above 35 degrees, and an action to turn on the zone using Kumo Cloud. As before, begin by creating a trigger. Select current temperature rises above. Enter 35 degrees and then enter the location address. Scroll down and create the trigger. Now let's create the action to turn the zone back on. Locate Kumo Cloud. In the first applet that we created, the zone was turned off. Now, we will turn it back on. Confirm the zones, and then select the mode. In this case, we will select Heat. Click Create Action and then finish the applet. The fourth applet is now complete. To confirm all four applets, click the account icon. Select My Applets. The four applets created display here. Click on any one of them to make changes or update the settings. This concludes the IFTTT and Kumo Cloud Integrated Controls for Rebate Initiatives video. Return to the home page for additional Mitsubishi Electric Train HVAC US training and videos.